If you ever wondered how you can cool down your outdoor spaces and yards in your preschool, early childhood center or school, in this video I'm going to share with you three things you need to know about dry creek beds. Hi, I am Jan from sustainablebutterflies.com.au and on the screen you see my five pillars of sustainability. First, we need to establish why should we actually cool down our outdoor spaces, right? Well, as our climate warms up, we don't have air cons in our yards and playgrounds, so we can't control the temperature outside, so we need to find other ways of cooling down our outdoor spaces. Now, I've actually identified 10 things that you can do to cool down your yard outside, and dry creek beds are just one out of these 10 things. At the end of the video, I'm going to give you the opportunity to discover all of these 10 things. Well, first, let's actually define what they are. A dry creek bed is a permanent water feature that allows you and your children, who then allow water to flow throughout your yard in an organized way. And they can use it for outdoor play, for watering outdoor greenery, and the dry creek bed, because it's a water feature, permanent water feature, has cooling effect on your yard. Now, you can see some photos on the screen of some dry creek beds from different early childhood services. Let me play you a quick video of a recently installed dry creek bed in one of the services. They've also installed this dry creek bed that you can see here. And the pump there of this dry creek bed is actually hooked to a rainwater uh, instead of being hooked to a mains water since we are on the driest continent in Australia. The first thing that you need to know about dry creek bed is this. Ideally, you would have some kind of water reduction plan or water saving policy. And that's because Australia is the driest inhabited continent. So by having something in writing, it's very important that your, in my opinion, that your service or your school has some sort of framing approach to these water features so that children actually, when they're using these features, they, they implant healthy water saving practices into their mind. So when then they grow up, they, they are frugal with water. Now imagine what would happen if you don't have a water saving plan. What would happen to these children if they grow up used to pumping water out every day as if there is no tomorrow? What would happen when they grow up? Would they be treating water as a scarce resource or just something that comes out of tap all day, all day long and just ends up in a drain? The second thing that you would ideally consider is connecting your dry creek bed to a rainwater tank. Again, we are on the driest continent, right? Now, if you can't connect your dry creek bed to a rainwater tank, maybe you don't have a tank, then at least that water saving plan that you have in writing will kind of back you up. And the third thing worth considering is sanitation and contamination. Now, most dry creek beds just start from point A, such as tap or a pump, right, where children pump the water out, and that water ends just a few meters down in a gutter or, or a drain, and it just goes down to the stormwater system, rainwater system. But some dry creek beds actually recirculate the same water over and over, right? And that's potential health hazard and health risk. Uh, water can get contaminated in this way. So I would definitely encourage and recommend that you assess these risks that are associated with water contamination. Okay, now dry creek beds are just one out of 10 things that you can do to cool down your outdoor spaces, your yards, right? Whether it's in an early childhood center, preschool or school, or even at home. I'm going to be sharing all 10 things that you can do in my last Outdoor Space Climate Change Readiness web class. You don't want to miss this last web class with this content, specific content, or related to Outdoor Space Climate Change Readiness. So click the link in the video description and I'll see you there. Have a great day. Bye.